Good morning, Guardians. Briar Rabbit here. Today, we're going to take a look at the vendor rolls available in the tower for the week of April 2nd. 16 days away from the Destiny 2 reveal. And we got some really good stuff this week. First of all, without a doubt, one of the best rolls we've ever seen on a hand cannon from the vendors is the palindrome this week. This thing is absolutely sick. It is just a, a hair away from a perfect god roll. This thing's got rangefinder, rifled barrel, a choice between mulligan and Icarus. Icarus is one of my favorite hand cannon perks. Uh, it's just so much fun to be able to accurately shoot while you're in the air and so useful as well. If you don't do a lot of that though, Mulligan, also a very good perk. We've got True Sight IS, Fast Draw IS, and Quick Draw IS. You're going to want to stick with True Sight. This is a wonderful roll. It will probably replace any palindrome that you have unless you've been very lucky with a drop on either a palindrome or an IS Luna in the recent past. This thing is fantastic. Definitely pick it up. Next up, we've also got a great roll on each new day. This thing has Hot Swap, which is very useful, and not a lot of people know how useful this can be on a fusion rifle. Brace Frame for increased stability, or Rifle Barrel for increased range. We've got Unflinching and Life Support, which is a very useful perk on fusion rifles because of how much damage you tend to take waiting for them to charge up. This thing is a very nice roll on a fusion rifle. I'm going to be rocking this in the Crucible this week. Next, we have the Curtain Call. This is a cool roll because it's an all-purpose roll. Obviously, with the decrease in shotgun ammo or special ammo available in the Crucible, the impetus to have a perfectly rolled shotgun uh, is not as high. And this one is just going to be a good general purpose for PvE and PvP. Crowd Control is going to give you a little extra damage after you get your first kill. We got Reinforced ba Barrel for more range. We got Quick Draw, Performance Bonus, which is very useful in PvP and PvP right now. Knee Pads, and we've got Aggressive Ballistics for Max Impact. This is a very nice curtain call. It's not as good a roll as... The old stuff used to be when shotguns dominated the Crucible, but because you don't see as many shotguns anymore, you can get away with a lesser roll that's perhaps more useful for more situations. I like this curtain call a lot. I'm going to be grabbing one. Next, we have the Event Horizon. This is going to be a nice PvE roll. It's got Hidden Hand, Explosive Rounds, Perfect Balance, Underdog, Spray and Play, Short Gaze SLH-10, Taxis, and the Wild Hawk. Short Gaze is one of my favorite scopes, so I'll probably be picking this one up. It's not a bad roll at all. Next, on to Dead Orbit. First up, the Extremophile 011 Auto Rifle. This is that mid-impact, mid-rate of fire auto rifle, and it comes with a very interesting roll this week. Glass half full, hammer forge, and high caliber rounds. Both of these are giving you a little extra range. High caliber rounds, of course, staggers your targets, and glass half full allows you to get that kill with that last bit of ammo you have in that magazine. Uh, it can often make the difference between life and death, both in the Crucible and in PvP or PvE. Uh, I like this thing quite a Bit. I'm going to check this one out a little bit this week uh, and test it further, but I like this roll quite a bit. Next, for a scout rifle, we've got the Keystone 01. This one's got Hidden Hand, Small Bore, Outlaw, Explosive Rounds, and Lightweight. Got to be a little bit, of, a little bit careful here with Explosive Rounds and Outlaw. Uh, explosive Rounds can occasionally keep Outlaw from procking, so depending on the activity, you might want to select Outlaw. Uh, or small bore, or explosive rounds in lightweight, uh, but you just may not want to combine those two perks all the time. Uh, but this thing can be very useful, and it's a, it's a very fun scout rifle to use. Next, we've got the Bitter Edge. This is a really high fire rate sniper rifle, but it becomes this kind of thing can be a lot of fun to use. It's not going to be your go-to in trials or especially revive PvP game modes. But if you're playing sixes or something like this, a sniper rifle like this can be a lot of fun. It's got hidden hand for a little extra aim assist. We got hammer forged, triple tap, armor piercing rounds, and snapshot. So you got that snapshot, which I like. You got hidden hand. Hammer forged is going to give you a little bit improved range and accuracy. And you got the short gaze HL H10. 
No, this isn't going to be your go-to sniper rifle for every PvP activity, but you're bringing this into sixes, some casual games, and it can be a lot of fun to use uh, because it's just going to be fast, snappy, and have good aim assist. Next, the Vanguard Quartermaster has two very good roles, first being the Parthian Shot. This thing has got mad stability. It's got counterbalance, hand laid stock, rodeo, and some good sight choices as well. This is that really slow rate of fire pulse rifle. So if you like this kind of thing, this is a good roll this week. These things can kill into bursts in the crucible. It can do that. It's very hard to do because every shot has to land for a crit. And having maxed out stability is definitely going to help with that. But if you like this type of pulse rifle, this is a very good roll this week. Next, also at the Vanguard Quartermaster, we have the Angel's Advocate. This is also a very well-rolled scout rifle. This one's got hidden hands, hand-laid stock, explosive rounds, rodeo, and mulligan. This will be very, very effective. Probably more for PvE than PvP, but it's not going to hurt you too much in PvP either. On to the Future War Cult, and we've got two weapons here that I like quite a bit. The first is the Fusion Rifle, The Waiting Again. Uh, this one comes with Rangefinder, Perfect Balance, Accelerated Coils, and Snapshot. I like this quite a bit. The combination of Snapshot, Perfect Balance, and Rangefinder really going to set you up well for range, stability, and hopefully getting kills from as far away as you can with a fu Fusion Rifle. Range on a fusion rifle is very important, so seeing rangefinder there can be very good. So the waiting this week, not too bad. And of course, the wormwood is back, and of course, it's got a great roll on it again. Rangefinder, fitted stock, army of one, high caliber rounds, quick draw. Uh, high caliber rounds, fitted stock, and rangefinder, this thing's going to be a beast in the crucible. Absolutely pick up the wormwood this week if you don't have a great roll already, which you probably do. Finally, our last vendor of the week is New Monarchy, and he's got absolute butt kiss right now. He doesn't have anything that I would recommend, even for fun, in the Crucible or in PvE. Uh, just nothing really going on here. I wonder how many people are still New Monarchy fans right now, because he has just had kiss for so long now, <laughs> as far as weapons goes. Every once in a while, he has a really good piece of armor. Uh, but man, the weapon weapon selection that that extreme or the assembly should be decent, but it just never comes with a good roll, and the base stability and range is just not that hot. Uh, same goes with free will; the base range is just too low. Uh, it's a rough, rough, rough setup here for New Monarchy right now. Uh, but lucky for him, Destiny Two is right around the corner, uh, and hopefully he gets some better rolls in Destiny Two because it ain't gonna happen in Destiny One. That's going to do it for this video, guys. Obviously, definitely go pick up a palindrome. Uh, I mean, unless you have a perfect god roll on an IS Luna or a, a previous palindrome, that thing is going to be the best gun you have, the best, the best hand cannon you have for Crucible right now. It is really good. So thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you liked the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys next time.